Okay, so how do you spoof your location with a VPN? And what are the best VPNs to spoof your location? Okay, I've got a couple here, Nord and Express. Very good VPNs. I'll talk about how they work and I'll talk about another option also uh, that could be very useful to you. Uh, and of course, if you're interested in checking out any of the VPNs mentioned today, I'll drop all the links below, including reviews and the best discounts that I can find. So with a VPN, if you're going to spoof your location, it's probably because, well, number one, security reasons. So you want to make sure that your location is completely hidden so that when you go to any IP finder, it doesn't show that you're physically in, but the country that you're connected to. So this way, I'm not using my own IP address to access the internet. The IP address is essentially like the phone number of your device. That phone number is used to make a connection with the internet and the internet also contacts your IP address, which is your computer's phone number in order to make a connection and exchange information and so on and so forth. That's how it works. So when you use a VPN to spoof your location or in simple terms, change or hide your location you're using a server which is basically a computer in another country that is owned by the vpn provider and so you pay the vpn provider to rent a little space in that server so that you can well make use of it and the way it can be useful is by of course let's say you know i'm not able to access hulu because i'm not in the states then what i'll do in this case i'll go to express vpn let's just say for the sake of the example i'll go to locations i'll go to americas and just pick a server let's just go with washington dc don't show this again and go ahead and continue I don't think I clicked the don't show this again, but okay. Let's go ahead and refresh. And you should see that I'm now in Washington, D.C., as you can tell right here. So that's basically it. Okay, what else can you spoof your location for? Now, the reason you're changing your IP address is because of security reasons, as I mentioned in the beginning. And what I mean by that is that all of your online activities will be hidden the moment your VPN is on or connected. So let's say I'm searching for something uh, you know, like best assault rifles and MW3 and actually BO6, right? What did you think I was looking up? Okay, so this search right here, as long as my VPN is on, my ISP is not going to be able to tell what's going on here. Like, what am I seeing? Um, what am I clicking on? Whatever it is, my ISP or my service provider will not be able to know what's going on here. Okay, so that's basically what a VPN does. The moment I turn it off, my ISP will once again be able to see that, okay, now I'm looking up the best assault rifles and, uh, you know, maybe I should be put on a blacklist or something until he notices that, okay, he meant in BO6, so never mind, and they'll leave me alone. So in order to <laughs> just uh, avoid all of that and make sure that nobody's seeing what you're doing online, you can just turn on the VPN and it will simply encrypt your traffic. And when I say encrypt, I literally mean encrypt, which is scramble all of your data so that it looks like a bunch of random characters to anybody that's trying to intercept or access your online activities and personal data. And so this is very useful if let's say you're using public Wi-Fi. And public Wi-Fi is essentially a breeding ground for data thieves. And of course, you never know who's on the administrative side of things of that Wi-Fi network. You should never put your trust in public Wi-Fi. I've done it once and I totally regret it. So make sure that you don't use public Wi-Fi without a VPN. Hell, get a free VPN if you don't want to pay for a VPN. I mean, Express is available. There's a seven day free trial. Uh, on Android and iOS, I believe. So you can try it out for free. But even if you don't want to pay for a VPN, I would recommend Proton VPN. And again, I want to make sure that you guys are equipped with the information that keeps you safe. So if, again, you don't want to pay for a VPN, you can get Proton, but there will be limitations. Like there's not really going to be servers that you can select because these servers are reserved for paying customers. You're only going to be using the free servers. There won't be any data limits with Proton. So that's the cool thing about Proton. Unlike a lot of other free VPNs with data limits, there is no data limit, but there's a speed limit, of course, to prevent people from overusing it. So you will be limited and you won't be able to stream or torrent anything. The free servers with Proton and most VPNs really don't support that. 
And if they do, there will be a data limit that will prevent you from using it any further. And so again, if you end up wanting to invest in a VPN, even though the paid version of Proton is really good, I would just recommend something like Express. It's arguably the best VPN overall. And it's what I personally like to use. It's very quick, very reliable. It's incredibly quick to start up and disconnect and connect from servers. It's just a great VPN overall. So that's what I like to use. Now, of course, there's also NordVPN, which I mentioned in the beginning. And there's another VPN, which is Surfshark, and I'll pull it up in just a second here. But NordVPN will be the option that gives you a bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. Now, Surfshark will be a great option if you're looking for the best budget VPN that just gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary options they usually get with more expensive VPNs. And not to mention that it actually allows for an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So that's definitely a great plus because NordVPN only allows for 10 and Express for up to eight devices per subscription. So again, for the best budget option, definitely go with Surfshark, especially that it's got a spoofing option in the Android version of the VPN. And this is not available with Norton Express's uh, Android version of the VPN, by the way, or any version. But essentially with Surfshark, the GPS location spoof feature will help trick your GPS when you connect to a server with Surfshark. So again, for the best budget option, go with Surfshark for an option that gives you the biggest number of countries at 111 countries. Although Surfshark still has 100 and Express has 100 five but with 111 you're getting the biggest number and you're still maintaining very high security and performance with nord especially if you're using the nord links protocol which will basically give you the fastest connection which makes nord vpn a great option that really ends up costing much less than most other vpns that offer nowhere near as many features now again me personally i choose express vpn specifically because it's very reliable no matter what it is that i do and it's incredibly snappy when it comes to connecting, disconnecting, launching the application is incredibly quick. You know, with Surfshark, I had to actually skip 30 to 40 seconds just waiting for the application to launch, whereas with ExpressVPN, it's almost instantaneous. But these are my recommendations as far as VPNs to spoof your location. And if you guys are interested in any of them, I'll be sure to leave the best discounts that I can find in the description down below, as well as some reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about these VPNs. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.